Hey, I'm gonna help a leper gecko pull off some shed. There's a couple of reasons why you might do this. For this gecko, we really needed to take a photo shoot with this gecko because it's gonna go up for sale. As you can see, removing the shed from a leper gecko does not hurt them at all. A matter of fact, normally they would do this completely on their own. And the shed actually contains some level of nutrients for them. So if you can afford to let them shed on their own, it's definitely a good practice to let them eat their own shed. Now, as you can see, there's a few body parts here that you want to check, the tail, the hands. If a little shed gets stuck on the fingers right there, you could just give it a little pull and it usually comes right off. There's also the nose, and this was actually giving me a little trouble, so I grabbed a pair of tweezers, and if you're gentle and careful with it, it usually just comes right off. It's so satisfying pulling the shed off of a gecko, believe it or not. Geckos actually lick you. As you saw me, he gave me a little lick right there. And here you can see the perfect scalation of the leopard gecko 